This is going to change a lot of stuff for us. Broke that propane tank nozzle right off. Piece of his vehicle. He got lucky, I guess. I mean, I feel like things could have been worse, but they are pretty bad. We're traveling down uh, Interstate 90, headed towards New York, and a car hit us. Not in the back. He was in the passing lane, and we haven't had a chance to talk to the driver yet, but other people who did talk to the driver stopped and talked to us. Apparently, the driver of the SUV that's, oh, 100 yards or so back the road looked down away from the road and then swerved, and he ran right into the side of our RV, give us a good, really, a really hard knock. Um, I don't know if the rig's gonna be totaled, but I certainly know that it's gonna take a lot of time to do repairs. He hit us right in our kitchen slide area, um, went into a massive fishtail at that point in time, which uh, luckily for us, we were able to keep it on the road, managed to get off the side of the road where we're at now, contacted state police. We're waiting for uh, somebody from them to show up at the scene, but it's just unbelievable. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen in the coming days, weeks, and months, but uh, this is gonna completely change things for us, no doubt. All right, I'll get this out of the way so it's not in the way. So we got it off the side of the interstate. Now we're trying to assess damage, and of course the first thing we notice is you can't take the stairs down because if you're familiar with this stair at all, it has these little bars that connect into the frame, and it's got this lip where it stops moving forward. Well, during the accident and everything, that lip is now on the wrong side of the door frame. So the only way really for me to get it on the right side of the door frame so I can drop my stairs and get inside is to pry it open in essence. Which is what I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do that right now. Well that was pretty easy. <laughs> Yeah, I think the frame is bent. Hey, the Ninja Foodie survived. We got blueberries everywhere. I see grapes too. I see grapes. I'm not sure where this came from. Yeah, hey, look. Here's some frozen fruit. Holy smokes. Some chicken. I mean, this cabinet tree is all jacked up. So the refrigerator door is broken. Can't close it all the way. So yeah, here, back toward me. Alright, so the reason the refrigerator door is broken is the latch mechanism that it clicks on is busted off because of the accident. It's broken broken. So the best that we could do is close it as much as possible and probably duct tape it. But I can't, I'm afraid to open this slide right now. Right. Because this is where the impact happened and it's pretty bad damage and I'm worried that if I get the slide out that it's not gonna come back in or that if I move the slide out, it might drop, not knowing. I mean, I haven't crawled around underneath yet, but I know that part of our underbelly has di come disconnected um so i don't know if I, maybe one of our tanks dropped in the process of the impact so something crazy the microwave dish is, the plate is in the sink and the microwave door is closed again the stove is open the cupboard is open there's water on the floor Oh, the chairs are all messed up. Everything. Yeah, I think there's a frame going. Everything is on the floor. So, Alice and Sky are doing the hard part. 
right? Say not on hold. On hold with the insurance company because Ida went through, so they're backlogged 40 minutes, supposedly 40 minutes, on hold. While I'm also going onto the internet to file the Massachusetts accident report that we were instructed to do also. As we sit in a rest area. <laughs> Trying to figure out what, what else we're going to do. What are we going to do? Because we got a lot of factors involved. A lot of factors. Such as? A dog, for one. Right. There's a lot of places that are not dog friendly. Right. What do we take with us? What about our daughter? Uh, we have our daughter in town, so our daughter is here, and we had a fabulous vacation planned. Um, now I'm not sure how to move forward with that. Um, just a lot of things that we have to, to, to think about, and so when we think about them, we write them down. Right. So, yeah, it's going to be a challenge in the next hour or so. I think some of our questions can be answered after I talk with our insurance company to find out what they want us to do. Um, I think that's where I need to start. I don't know if it's the right place to start, but I think it's a good place to start. So we're going to try and make short-term and more long-term plans because there's no way this is going to be a quick fix. If you're familiar with anything that's going on in the RV industry right now, all parts are backlogged like crazy. Um, and most of the RV dealer repair centers are backlogged like crazy. I don't feel comfortable towing it very far um, because doing my walk around inspection, I found that it looks like three of our tires are starting to separate. There's bulges going around. So I don't want to move it until we talk to an insurance company to see what they want to do. Um, and even if I did move it, it wouldn't be far because, you know, having three tires that are separating, uh, because we fishtailed really hard. Um, we had a guy stop that was maybe a quarter mile behind us, he said, and he said he was very surprised that I was able to keep it from going over. He was almost certain it was going to go over, so I'm sure that stress on the tires is what caused the problem because I just inspected all the tires real good yesterday, and there was no, no separating issues. Um, so short-term plans, we're trying to decide if we're going to continue our trip to the Hershey, Pennsylvania show with our daughter like we planned, because no matter what, she's got to go that way because her flight is out of there. She flew into Boston and then she scheduled her flight out of the Hershey area. So no matter what, she has to go that way. And maybe in the next week and a half, we'll have an idea of what our insurance company is going to do with regards to a claim. Who knows, and we might be buying a new RV right? at the Hershey Show. <laughs> we might go to the Hershey Show intent on buying a new RV. So, as we sit here in the rest area, because we uh, have three tires that shredded um, from the accident earlier today. Uh, the accident happened at approximately 10 o'clock this morning. Um, it is now 6.45 in the afternoon. Um, as you saw earlier, we were on the phone with the insurance company for over two and a half hours. Uh, we spent many hours looking for uh, somebody with a flatbed that would be able to take this to a local RV dealer. We um, did not find anything. We tried to find roadside assistance that can replace um, on scene the tires. Um, did not have any. Uh, could not find that either. Um, we have called all kinds of uh, tire shops and nobody carries uh, these type of wheel tires in stock. They all have to be ordered. And so we're now we're looking at Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday um, before we're able to actually move the RV from this rest area. And so Gordon and I are sitting outside enjoying the cool weather and um, enjoying our beverages and because what else are you going to do? You're going to make lemonade out of your squished lemons. Very squished. <laughs> Life is a winding road Telling where it goes Driving through 
days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs spared you the gory stuff of the refrigerator because that was just horrid. That was awfully nasty. We had a couple big buckets full of fresh vegetables that we had bought just before traveling. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, Fruit. um, fruits, asparagus, all kinds of stuff. And it's been in here unrefrigerated for about two weeks now. Since September 11th. Yep. So, and today is what? Today is the 21st. So, so 10 days. days. <laughs> um, pretty gross. nasty, very gross, very stinky. The whole trailer stinks. Stinks, yeah. Um, but we at least have it at a, at a repair shop where they can do a really deep dive. Now, initial um, quick check on him. He thinks, like I thought, that the whole floor shifted from the off-door side toward the door side and it may be broken in the middle underneath the stairs and stuff because of the way it buckles. Um, so he's going to start working on a write-up hopefully this week real quick and see, see where we go. Yeah, we also bugs are awful in here. A bunch of flies and stuff from the refrigerator. Unfortunately, so keep this in mind when you're looking at a refrigerator. Does your doors open when the slides are closed? Because that was our problem. Our refrigerator doors do not open with the slides closed. We were able to take everything out of the freezer and throw it away before it got really bad. But everything in the fridge got that's really gross. bad. And I mean, yeah, you don't want to yeah. know. <laughs> um, so that's where we're at now. So today we are packing everything out of here as if we're never going to see this thing again. Um, just going to just take everything out. That way if it is repairable, they have space to do anything and everything with. If it is not repairable, then we don't have to come back later on to do this at that time. Right. So we're just going to take everything out of here and we're going to go and store it at um, Gordon's sister's house uh, three hours north of where the trailer is currently sitting. That's a lot of work. So it's a lot of work and we just got here and so we need to get moving and we will keep you guys up on our status. Uh, so everyone take care out there, watch out for everybody else and travel safe. <laughs>